Hi everyone and welcome back again. Thanks for watching and this particular video is all about this one little cutter. It's only going to be a short video but I want to let you all know about how special and how great this little cutter is that works with these little trimmers. I want to share this particular cutter with you. It's something I've been meaning to do for a long time. I use it constantly and I show you in my videos all the time when I'm making stuff my shaker style door videos, all that sort of stuff. And it is just too, too good to miss. Basically, it's a quarter inch cutter, fits in these two hand palm routers or one of these old school routers. You can fit it in a bigger router if you get a reducer for your collet. Um, but ultimately, you wanna use it in a palm router or a little mini trimmer, whatever you wanna call them, one of these three. Um, any brand will do, I've got Makita's. Everything will be in descriptions below, by the way, so you can buy them yourselves. These are quite hard to come by, so make sure you do look in the description and snap one up pretty quickly because they are hard to find and to find the correct radius. If you look in the description, um, it'll tell you the radius of what it is. Um, I can't tell you offhand, but what they do is they give you a tiny micro round on the edge of your piece of work. And what that does, it saves you so much time sanding by hand every piece um, with two different grades. I personally like a slightly bigger arras taken off. I hate just using one swipe of 240. I think it's a little bit too sharp. Um, but this gives you a standard um, arras taken off every single piece. It's going to be the same every single piece. Um, and this one's been going for about three months. Um, it's getting a little bit dull now, so I will need to replace it and get myself a new one. But if you can have a look, it runs with a little bearing. And the bearings can be replaced too. It does, it does come with two different size bearings to give you sort of like a little detail on the corner, rather than just the arras taken off. Um, but they are amazing. They save so much time. I make wardrobes day in, day out, alcove units, TV media units, all that sort of stuff, and every single component I touch has the arras taken off. Even if it's one piece going against another, I still need to have the arras taken off to give myself a nice junction. So every piece gets taken off, every edge gets taken off, and this is essential. It probably saves me hours every day rather than doing it by hand. Especially when I'm painting, if I'm going to be using an airless sprayer or professionally spraying something, you need to have that arras taken off perfectly. It can't be sharp, otherwise when you paint, you know, that edge can chip so easily. So this is perfect. I don't know what else I can tell you about it really, um, other than that it's fantastic. Um, it's something, I would say it's my most used um, accessory out of everything I use. Along with my routers, I use those, you know, day in, day out. So grab yourself one before they go. They are hard to find. Only two places sell them um, that I know of, the actual radius that you need. Um, so click on that link, snap one up before they all sell out. Or maybe grab yourself a couple. They are hard to find. So I just wanted to share that with you as they are fantastic and they save me so much time. <laughs> Right, so let me show you the micro round cutter because this is an absolutely fantastic cutter. Do not go without one. Once you've seen this, you'll want to buy one. And there we go. So that gives you a tiny micro round on the corner. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. It just saves you getting out the sandpaper and getting that arras off with the like P100 and the P240, you know, and going down the grades to give you that nice round. I find a lot of people just use P240 on the edges and just leave it as that, and I just think that's far too sharp. Unless you're going for that look and it's a hardwood and you're going for that crisp edge. If you're going down the furniture route, for example, wardrobes and spraying stuff and painting something you need to have a micro round this big. I think it's about 1.5 millimeter um, radius. So yeah, something I would definitely, definitely recommend. And there will be a link below for you to grab yourself one of these. I cannot live without that little bad boy there. So yeah, 
Short and sweet, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any questions, just put them in the bar below and maybe tell me what your most used accessory is in your workshop. That'll be interesting to know and get a conversation going. All right, guys, so make sure you like and subscribe if you're liking my content and you like this video. Hit the notification bell to see all the new upcoming videos that I put on once a week, every Sunday. Um, but other than that, it was great to see you and see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Over and out.